and welcome and today we are right here at Houghton Estate, one of the most exclusive and sought after estates in South Africa, bordering an incredible golf course. This is a 19.5 million rand, four bedroom, four bathroom home located on the second story. And that right there is your private entrance to an elevator that's going to take you up to the second story. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Coming out of your private elevator, you find yourself right here within the living area of this 19.5 million rand home right here in Houghton. Now, standing here, the first thing that comes to mind is just incredible views of the whole of downtown Santa. And there's so much to talk about. You've got your lounge area, your sitting room area, and your dining room area. But right behind these two sliding doors, you find tucked away is your kitchen. These stackable sliding pocket doors tuck right away giving you unobstructed views even when you're whipping up your favorite meal of those incredible views of Santa. Now right here you can see all of this gloss white sliding hides away your cupboard space. Over here you've got your breakfast nook and then moving off further into the kitchen you've got your prep space with this beautiful Caesar stone countertops. But let's start right here in the living room area. We'll wrap around on the balcony and come back into the kitchen. Walking away from your kitchen you find yourself within all of the living room areas. Onto my left this is the lounge area. Now for an apartment this lounge area is absolutely massive because this is no apartment that we're used to. This whole home is gigantic. Above me we've got a bulkhead ceiling so much down lighting and then, then again those famous built-in ceiling speakers so if you are enjoying your music you know that you can hear it within any part of the house all of your living areas from your living room all the way to your dining room area have that view of the Jack Nicholas 18th hole and you can see it regardless of where you are on the balcony we're right here in Houghton Estate one of the premier estates all over South Africa and you can see just what an apartment looks like in this home and this is a 19.5 million rand apartment off to my right hand side we've got your built-in bar area fridge right over here space for all your wine my favorite in every home is the wine area and I'm definitely going to be tucking into that a little bit later. You've got a display cabinet for all your glassware and then plenty of undercounter storage. And this time because it is a bar, all the cupboard space is really warmly clad in the wood and it's not that clean gloss cladding that you see in the kitchen. Then we've got the sitting room area again favored by a speaker right there in the ceiling. Plenty of space for you to sit down and enjoy the views or just enjoy a drink from your bar area behind you. And right over here we find ourselves in the dining room area again. You've got your mood light lighting above you. You've got your central air conditioning system piping in some cool air during those summer days in South Africa. Although right now we've been plagued by all this rain and then this incredible centerpiece, the center chandelier draping down over your dining room table. Right here we've got an eight-seater dining room table and again it is also favored by one of the most incredible views I think you can get right here in Gauteng and that is over this golf course and then off Santon City just behind it. Now these glass doors are framed by aluminum so you know you're gonna have no trouble with upkeep there and it lets you out onto this balcony giving you a closer view of what living on a golf course really does feel like. Guys we are two stories up and the views are wrapped around and absolutely incredible. You can also see the size of the balconies themselves off to my left is one of the bedrooms and we'll be touching on those a little bit later but let's take a walk across this balcony area as it zigzags and curves around the outside of the home and right over here we find ourselves back in front of the lounge area once again outside you can see space 
for another outdoor dining room table, this being again an eight-seater dining room table. And if you wanna make use of this, maybe you do wanna bry one of South Africa's favorite pastimes and over here, an inbuilt gas bry under counter storage on both sides. And then we've got this down lighting here that you can swivel and move as you do need. But if you're gonna be enjoying an outdoor bry, you do need your music. And as you can see outdoors, we've got two waterproof speakers, lighting shining down for the roof, making sure that you're well illuminated when you're enjoying your fine dining outside. And then coming Coming all the way around to the last part of the final part of the balcony, we find this area right over here. We've got this cladding that does swivel and provide you with just a little bit of light if you do need it. Let me open these up. You can see you can open them up. Some weatherproofing, some shade proofing. And then we've come 180 all the way back inside the kitchen of this 19.5 million rand home. As soon as you walk in here from outside, what I'd like to speak about is your prep sink just off to the right, as well as these floor to ceiling windows letting in some air because they do open outwards, as well as some light when you need it. Then on this side, we've got space for a double door fridge. And then we have more Siemens appliances, both a microwave as well as an oven and warming drawer. On my right hand side was your coffee nook and prep area. Then moving forward, what rounds out your complement of Siemens appliances is your extractor fan induction hob and this is again a five top induction hob and then your oven right over there and then moving over here we've got a double sink with your swivel nozzle right over there and then plantation blinds over here letting in some light if you do want and also giving you the view of the other side of the golf course now this kitchen is linked to the rest of the home through the scullery area. Now the scullery area has a very deep massive sink for all your washing up needs. You've got space for your under counter appliances and then all this cupboard space on my left hand side again that beautiful gloss white cupboard space letting you store things that you wouldn't want in your other cupboards. Now that we've walked through the scullery area on my left hand side we've got your guest toilet and on my right hand side we've got the first bedroom but let's talk about the guest toilet we're going to go take a look at that guest bedroom and then we're going to take a look at the study and the rest of the home let's go your guest toilet is very well equipped not only with a super cool basin and under counter storage but also mirror and then heated towel rack your toilet is a hidden system toilet that floats up off of the ground now coming out of your guest toilet we're approaching the first bedroom of the four in this home behind me all of your linen cupboards and then to my left your ensuite bathroom for this bedroom now this bedroom is the only one located on this side of the house that means you've got unobstructed views of the one side of the golf course as well as out the window at all of the greenery and those beautiful jacaranda trees that Houghton is famous for. Walking into this bedroom the first thing you notice is this thick plush carpet that really does make this bedroom feel so cozy. Above me bulkhead ceiling, the curtains then are hidden, the top of the curtains, I love how it looks, really does make this room feel so fancy. All your cupboard space over here, plenty of space in this room also for this queen size bed but now it's time for us to take a look at that ensuite bathroom. Your ensuite bathroom once again has that heated towel rack, a wall in shower that's fully glass framed all of your lights are built into the ceiling and then your single vanity there Caesar stone countertop under counter storage and then your mirror just above it now that we've wrapped up this corner of your house let's take a look at where you're gonna go when you need to get some work done and that is this office right over here guys we've seen so many homes we've visited so many homes and pocket doors are definitely nothing new for any of us but these pocket doors here when we talk about quality are lined by brushes making sure nothing inadvertently falls in there or gets trapped in that space so it really does just speak about the quality of the home and the finishes in this home and here we are right now in the office again plantation shutters lining the one corner of the office we've got a bookshelf built in for all of your books for all of your trophies as you can see here guys when you're a successful person you definitely have got a lot of awards showcasing that and then on my left hand side you've got a built-in desk as well as shelving for all of your work needs above me that speaker system allowing you to pipe in some classical music really firing up those brain cells when you are on a long night working and now we're right back where we started we've got the elevator in front of me and on my right is the corridor leading us to the other three bedrooms that this house has to offer let's take a look Coming down the hallway, we are presented with a choice. Do we go left past the security gate? Not that security is really a concern here in Houghton. And take a look at the rest of the wing. Or do we go right and explore this bedroom? And I think this one definitely does make the obvious choice. Walking in here, again, you're greeted with that plush carpet, down lighting, bulkhead ceilings, everything you'd ever want in a bedroom when you're staying somewhere as fancy 
as Houghton. Now this bedroom does come with all of those built-in closets that we saw in the previous bedroom. Again, so much space here for any bed size of your choice, although I really don't envy you getting these beds into the home. Behind me, beautiful floor to ceiling windows, letting you take a look at the greenery that Houghton is famous for. It's such a nice peaceful place to be and it is so, so quiet living here. Now on my right hand side, we have another ensuite bathroom. All of the bedrooms in this home come with their very own ensuite bathrooms. Let's take a look. Now this ensuite bathroom comes with just a little bit more than the last one we looked at. You've got your built-in bathtub and then single vanity, beautiful Caesar stone countertops, mirror just above it and walk-in shower on the right hand side. Massive walk-in shower, toilet again built in with a hidden system. So that second bedroom wrapped up, as I did mention, there is a security gate here just blocking off the rest of this hallway from the house, but security will never be an issue. Another linen closet here, and here is the master bedroom, which we always have to leave for last. So we're going to leave this and we're going to sneak into this bedroom right over here. Once again, guys, I'm sure you used to plush carpet, ensuite bathroom, cupboard space a plenty, and so much space here for you to utilize as you see fit. Yeah, we've definitely got a king size bed. It looks oh so comfortable. We've got these windows looking onto this beautiful green road. Now, Houghton Estate, as I did mention, is right on the golf course. Now, your parking is definitely undercover, and by undercover, I mean underground. And the guards are so, so friendly. So you really are getting the premier experience when living here. Over here, third bathroom, third ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look. Now, your third ensuite bathroom, once again, comes with your heated towel rack, your walk-in shower, beautifully clad in glass, your floating vanity under counter storage, Caesar stone countertop, and then that massive bathtub sitting all the way off to the left. Now that we've wrapped up this bedroom, it's time for the creme de la creme, the master suite. And what master suite is complete without your very own walk-in closet? And that's what you're greeted with as soon as you walk into this bedroom. Now this master suite and this master closet space really is massive. Cupboard space on every single side, every single wall just above us. You've got your vented air conditioning system and then this beautiful center island for all of your really fancy stuff that you like on display. There's also cupboard space built into that and then a huge mirror mounted on the wall in front of me. So if you do want to check yourself out, make sure you're looking as fancy as possible. This is exactly where you're going to be doing it. On my right hand side, this is your bathroom area and we're going to check this out first and then move into the bedroom hole. We're trading that lush carpet for these stunning tiles. Now, this bedroom does have heated flooring. As you can see behind me, beautiful bathtub for you to sit down, relax and enjoy a bubble bath with. Above me, you've got the stunning lighting as well as that speaker system because what else would you like to do when relaxing in this bathtub than sit and listen to some brilliant music. On my right hand side, heated towel rack. My left hand side, Caesar stone countertop, under counter storage and then a double vanity, his and hers. You've got so much mirror space right over here and all of it does open up to use as a medicine cabinet. Not one heated towel rack, but two, because if you are coming out of this shower, again, beautifully glass enclosed, I'm just gonna shut you guys in there. You do need to grab a towel and then it is gonna be nice and toasty for you. And then toilet off into the corner, and that does sum up your master bathroom suite. Now it's time to take a look at that bedroom. Let's go. Now coming into this master bedroom, you're again greeted by just how large this master bedroom is and how tall the ceilings are throughout the house. It really does make this room feel absolutely epic. We've got a king size bed and two extra large side tables. And again, there's still so much space in here. And that space has been devoted to a TV unit if you do want to enjoy TV within the bedroom and a lounging couch. And I'm sure this couch is used very often. Can you imagine lying down here, enjoying a book or cup of coffee and really just absorbing the views, the fresh air, the cool breeze that you get when living in this home and having such easy access to nature. Take a look at all this greenery and obviously what master suite is complete without your very own access to the balcony. But that does sum up this stunning 19.5 million rand home right here in Houghton Estate on the golf course and one of the most famous golf courses you could ask for. If you'd like to buy this four bedroom, four bathroom home, what I'd like you to do is get the agent's details. All of the details will be on screen right now as well as in the description of the videos and make that call because I think this home is going to fly off the market. But that's it from myself, Chad Riveros from the team at Private Property. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. 
for an episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Guys, if you're looking for a home, whether it's a second story home, whether it's a 19.5 million rent home or anywhere in between, go to www.privateproperty.co.za. We have every single estate agency listing across South Africa in one easy to find and easy to search place. And that's where you're gonna be finding your next home. Thank you once again, and we'll see you next time, Mondays and Fridays, 8 p.m. Private Property Home Shopper Show right here on Facebook and YouTube. Goodbye.